So one of the things we like to do is to go hiking. And today we're near Braden School. There's this little, I don't know what you call it, but there, this, this is like a community garden. And they have all kinds of stuff here. They have, I mean, look at these tomatoes there. I mean, they're short and everything. I guess they just kept looking at them. But there's some, I see some peppers over there. But they have all kinds of flowers and it looks like this is some lemongrass possibly and some kind of basil right here. Yeah, they have all kinds of stuff in here. Got some squirrels playing on the tree back there. This is neat. I don't know how to... And then the sign says that uh, garden members only Trespassers will be composted. A little harsh, huh? Look, they just take some string and tie everything up before it's off the ground. Oh, they, look, they got some uh, eggplant over here, some here. Chinese eggplant. Doesn't look like it's doing as good as ours, but I have some. Yeah, all kind of stuff. All right, let's go. Yeah, it's our first time here, so we don't know what to expect. Because we see there's this huge field across the trees, and we always see people hiking in there. So we want to see. Trees. It's like pomegranate or something. I don't know. I guess that's what that is. They have, they have a few of them on here. Oh, she got the bird nest and stuff. The bird nest in there. Well, I see a trail right here, so we're gonna go right here. Instead of going to like the Silver Comet Trail to go walking and or, or like the Sweet Water Creek, we're like, hey, let's come here. We always see people hiking here, so go so check it out. We've never been here; it's first time, and it's been passing by here for almost two years. Yeah, so th this is kind of interesting because this is a Cobb County Park. This isn't like some private. Thing that somebody set up this is set up by the county which is really nice and and it's not by the state it's by the county so you, you don't just don't see stuff like this it's almost like a like an arboretum sort of but it's not we got some bird feeder out there ah oh, that's how they keep the squirrels from getting up Use a stove pipe around the hook, the, 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 the shaft for the hook, so that the squirrels can't get up there. They can't grip, because it's metal. That's interesting. Would have never thought. Hey, right, come on, let's go. I, th I think we need to bring Bailey out here. Walk our dog out here. The other people with dogs. And, oh, and it's cold. It's probably, or not cold, but it's chilly. For me, it's probably about 65 or so out here. 
Looks like there's a, some old house that fell down back here. Yeah, we came on a morning walk and it's really nice out here. Where it's, I forget what it's, I don't even know what it's called, but it's, it, it's a Cobb County Park. It's just like a garden and wildlife area and it's really neat. So probably come back here quite often. Yeah, they have another bird feeder out here with the stovepipe around it. I don't know how they would get to it. It's surrounded by a blackberry bush. They must, they must come out here with like a bush hog or something like once a year just to kind of get it down because I don't know, it, it's, it's like really thick because like on our property in Cedartown, it, the grass doesn't grow this thick. This is is very thin, whereas this over here is like super thick. Let's look. It's like a really good solution for keeping the squirrels away from the bird seed, because like like squirrels, they'll, they'll attack any bird feeder. But I don't think they can climb up that. At least that's my thoughts. Somebody was thinking when they put that up. That's our that stuff that smells like uh, meat. You cut it. I mean, look how thick that is. Like, a, like, what do they do? They fertilize it? This is Green Meadows Preserve. And so we are over here by the old golf shed. And it looks like there's another trail that goes up here to so some kind of big open area. Oh, wow. Okay, so we should have just... Okay, so we need to... It's going to go that way and it's going to turn. And then we'll be in the big... Wow. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to just go straight. And then it's going to turn to the left. And then we're going to keep going straight for at least two trail paths. Okay. Oh, let's go. Yeah, so it, it also has an emergency location sign. So it's like a code you would tell, like, the fire department or whoever. Uh, 911, you tell them that code and then they'll know exactly where you're at because it's mapped to, it's like a grid map. Okay. So I have the grid coordinates for our property, for, for the front and the back, that way if we, we do, something does happen, um, I can, uh, I can call like fire department or other emergency services like, hey, come to these coordinates and they should know where, where it's at. I just need to get some signs made that way it's um you don't have to look it up each time we're there so just need to... yeah i don't want to go down there how many big okay let's go i want to go walk around the big field Next. They mow it annually. Yeah, so now this is the big open field, big meadow. Um, they, there's a sign right there that says that they mow it once a year just to kind of reset everything. Because um, by, by they mow it in February, that way all the seeds would have fallen and it gives the plants a good chance to, uh, to grow again. Um, that way they're not competing for in longer areas. Uh, it also keeps the forest from encroaching onto the meadow. So it sounds pretty neat. Might have to remember that when uh, cutting our grass. Mow it once a year, just in February. Let it grow all year long. Yep, we're hiking together. So we, we pass on this road, not too often, but fairly often. And uh, so we always see people walking around back here. We didn't know what it was. So finally, after a year and a half or so, we, we come back here and it's actually kind of nice, nice park. Um, 
And you can see the meadow, it stretches out. I want to finish going around. So what I like about this park is that they have the trail signs all over the place. So every time you come to an intersection, there's a trail sign. And, uh, and so that it's, it's nice in a way that you can always see where you're going to go. Whereas like at uh, the state parks, there's no trail signs. You have to get your map. And some people won't know how to read the map. And it doesn't say you are here. And like this one, it's like... Like the last sign, it said you were here over here, but now it's over here. So now we can go down here and come back. So you're here. Okay. Four way over here. You go back through the forest over here. There's another kind of meadow hike over here following the power lines, but we're gonna go this way because I'm starting to get tired. I don't know how far we walked, but this is it's a long way that we walked because we started so we started over here in the car park and then we went over here and then through all this and then over here and over here. So it's it's definitely over a mile that we hiked so far. Alright. So they only cut the grass here once a year. They cut it in February. The reasoning is that by then, all of any seeds that um, grew on the plant would have fallen down by then. Um, and that is the start of the new cycle of, uh, of the growing season. Um, Cause it, everything is, is still kind of dormant, but it's gonna start growing um, fairly soon. And so they mow it in February. So my idea now, cause I, I don't want to mow that grass in the front of our property very often because it's a, kind of a pain cause it's so rocky and the holes everywhere and everything. So um, my idea is just to cut it once in February. And then after that, tough luck, except for the trails, you know, just, and cause this is like really thick grass. Um, like I wouldn't want to go walk in that because I don't know what's under it or anything, but it's really thick. So uh, I think that's going to be my new idea, our new thing to do is just once a year instead of trying to cut it all all summer long. And you can see over there, there's people hiking. What we see when we drive on the road, people like us walking. Yeah, over there in the background, that's Kennesaw Mountain. Uh, we've never been there yet. We need to go there too. Maybe another morning. Just like wild apple trees. Let me let me let me check my uh, my my app. That's what it says it is. Nope, I was wrong. This is a Bradford pear. Yeah, so I uh, subscribe to this app called Picture It, and it it uh, you take a picture of a plant, it tells you exactly what it is, um, facts about it. So so these are Bradford pears. Okay. So there's a whole bunch of pear trees. Woo! That thing has a supercharger. You heard it whine. Woo! Area, garden area, plot. And we have 
of all the rocks we want, this size, that covers our entire property. We have 10 acres of rocks, so we have no shortage of rocks. And if you dig down, there's more rocks. China Rose. After the hike, we need food. Came to walk out. Uh, 